Hi, I'm Ron Jeremy, adult film actor. I'm here to play a game called Stump the Perv. Some guy here thinks he has more facts than me about the world of adult. I think I'm going to destroy him, but they say he's pretty knowledgeable. I just can't see why he wants to know so many facts about porn. I'm supposed to watch it with one hand, you know? Squeeze the weasel, spank the monkey, drain the main vein, and shoot the sherbet. Why do you want to know facts about people in porn? I have to know. I guess it's more or less my work. But he doesn't really have to. I think he has way too much time on his hands. I think I'm going to destroy him. And I guess I win a prize if I get it right, if I beat him, if I lose. I am not getting ball sacked or it was tea bagged, I think it's called. If I lose in a field that I'm kind of like an expert in, I think I'm going to go kill myself. No, actually, I'll be a little bit embarrassed, you know, that I lost to this guy. And uh, it won't thrill me. I'll come across like a total putz to, I guess, millions of listeners, and my friends are going to make fun of me back in California if I lose. And I may have to suffer something that Howard has up his sleeve. Run naked through Central Park, have some guy fart on me. I have no idea. Here he is, Ron Jeremy. The Hedgehog, as he's also known. Oh, also well, known as the Hedgehog. I can understand that. <laughs> hey, Ron. <laughs> Ron, this is the first celebrity that we've actually had on Stump the Perv. You are the first. Well, I'm very flattered to be here. Thank you. Ron, what's going on in your career lately? Um, are you still... Now, according to my notes, you made $500,000. That's a lot of money. I think it's a little bit exaggerated, but I've done okay. Wow. Yeah. And that's all from porno-related stuff? No, a lot of mainstream films, marketing things like the hot sauce and marketing... Uh, rolling papers, T-shirts. So it comes from a variety of things, not just adult movies. Marketing. Oh, mm. I'm glad to hear that a guy can't make a half a million dollars in porn alone. Why did I've you? Done, well, I've done well with it. I can't knock it. As know. one of the original guys in porn, why did you never go into forming your own porn company and maybe making movies and directing? I've directed a lot and I've even produced. But I didn't want to own my own company because it's a crazy business. You know, you have to depend on who the next president is. You know, under Republicans, they get prosecuted, they go to jail. Most of the owners of most of the companies have done jail time. Well, why? why? It is not against the law to sell porno, is it? Yeah, but they have the well, first. They had the state cases in California. The Hal Freeman decision made us finally beat that. The pandering laws. They arrested me for that because I was directing a movie. It made it pandering. Oh, so you have been arrested? Yeah, for for directing a movie. Just that. Then we won. We was all thrown out. But then then he started the federal interstate transportation you know, obscenity, and then wow. we had a fight. They find jurisdictions down south to find a film obscene because they can't get a jurisdiction in New York, Los Angeles, Vegas, Chicago. Wow. And then, so I why get involved that. in a business that you have to worry about going to jail all the time? You I know? didn't know that you, you've actually done, you've actually been arrested. For, Twice. For, for, for adult movies. We mm -hmm. won, you know, but it's still, it's a headache. So I never wanted to own anything in porn because it's such a crazy business. I mean, uh, my hats go off to the guys who have. How many hats know? do you have? <laughs> Lots of hats. Yes, a couple of hats. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it became too dangerous to do it, and it probably cost crazy. a lot of money to defend those right. uh, yeah. rights. So, yeah. so basically, I didn't rat on who I was working for. They paid my legal fees, and then, then it was all thrown out eventually. You know, now it's legal to make films in California, but even still, now they're, now they're still trying to prosecute companies. Jeez. Extreme just won a case in Pennsylvania. You know, kid, what, are they, well, what is the goal? To they get they try to find they find a jury down south, and they find a religious jury at Presbyterian an area like Tallahassee, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. They try to f find the film obscene, a regular normal film, and then they prosecute the company for, for distributing it down there. I see. So, uh, so They can't get a jury in New York. Right. You know, or Chicago or Los Angeles. So it's one state, basically. They're no, there's a bunch. So they, they, they tried one company. was in Mississippi. One was in Alabama. They tried me and my friend Mark. They tried to hit us in Tallahassee, Florida. Isn't porno legal, though? Is it, it is basically legal, but they could find certain jurisdictions that they could find the film obscene. Someone told me that in your personal life, you are the cheapest person around. Is that true? Like, you save every penny and that you even drive a very old car. That, that's just uh, not fair. That's just not fair. Is that but not is a, it true? Sure, of course it is. But it's just not fair <laughs> hearing it here. Is that because you believe... I want millions of people to know it. <laughs> well, because your mother was a, what, a physicist? My, my dad's a physicist, and my mother was a spy during World War II. She was in the OSS. Wow. Which so became the CIA in the late 40s. So the family had to be embarrassed by you going into porn, right? Well, you know, my mother used to tell my family that Ron dances to a different drummer. I got, right. my, I got my master's degree at Queens College and I, I taught for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Then I quit What's your master's theater, in? Special ed. Oh know. my. I got a BA in theater, BA in education, master's yeah. special ed. When we were in uh, Los Angeles, I was talking to Ron a couple of weeks ago, there's a whole theory on what's wrong with Beetlejuice but a lot of terms that I couldn't understand. Well, do you have you studied a guy like Beetlejuice? Yes. Uh, he has, I think, what, my guess would be microcephalia. It's when it's a amount of, you know, the, the head and the size. Of, well, it's a long story. No, it's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a peanut it's head. It's a small head, yeah. Uh, yes. What do they I, call I, it? I used, to, I used to teach microcephalia. I had, I had kids up in the Catskills. I used to teach at a school called um, uh, Crystal Run School for 
for disturbed and aphasic and dyslexic and all that kind of stuff. Why are there so few microcephaliacs uh, left in this uh, world? Is it screened out by uh, amniocentesis? I think many, many people are eating better foods, eating healthier. They know certain things that can cause these problems. You know? so, so I am basically down to the last of a breed with Beetlejuice. Should <laughs> I, he I pass you're doing away? Great. You're doing great. I'm doing good. No, he's right about, I saw a documentary about P.T. Barnum, his right. first like uh, American... Pinheads, they were called. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. he had a guy who looked exactly like Beetlejuice. They called the, the exhibit the what is it? <laughs> well, they also had, remember, and he used that word, the macrocephalic or whatever. Remember yeah. years ago, they used to have, remember years ago, they had like, and those, those, those P.T. Barnum things, the, yeah. the, the bodies coming out of the bodies. Yes. Right. A little, what they call those, um, uh, the term was that, ugh. But it's a little like you know, so that was the like you, don't twin see, or you don't see those anymore really either. Except like a dead twin. I think doctors can actually fix that, you know, right as a baby's born. I well, think. there was right. one a parasite, parasite baby, whatever. Right, you know. there was one that just got fixed. They do still get they did born. A, the, the, yeah. the, the, the mermaid, the little yeah, little, the, yeah, little, the, yeah, the mermaid legs separated. I mean, yeah. technology is getting terrific, which is really good news. So it's good you went into porn. This could have put you out of business. Uh, the the all these medical advances, you yeah. wouldn't have had anybody to uh, teach. No, it's depressing. We no retarded children left, and I'd have to be out of, out of work. You say you once um, you once did a. Uh, oh, let me ask you about this. You did a sex scene with Tracy Lords. Mm -hmm. Was this while she was underage? Like you didn't know she was underage? No, nobody knew. I mean, right. you know, there's enough girls who are attractive who looked like they're young. I mean, I worked with her pretty much late in her career. I think she was probably 17, just about to become 18. Right. Other guys worked with her earlier. And uh, again, she was great to work with. She was, you know. The best sex you ever had? She was terrific. Who is the best sex you ever had um, in terms of uh, professional? I like the one you have here on your show a lot, Tabitha Stevens. You had sex with her? Oh, she says she's yeah, mentioned me. Yeah, I've seen their movies. She's yeah. mentioned me on the show a lot. She's told you that I'm one of her favorites. You know? And, and uh, you feel that sexually... Are she's women so different? Sweet. Are women different sexually? Let me tell you how I look at it, and a lot of guys probably agree with me. It isn't so much the looks as it is the excitement and the energy. Most guys will take a girl who might not be as good looking as the other girl, but she really enjoys you. She loves it. She's having a great time. She's moaning, groaning. So that makes a difference. Try to find that. The that they turn is off the camera, and the girl's still moaning when the camera's turned off. That is exactly what Billy Bob Thornton says about so models true. and Angelina Jolie. It's he true. said to the rest of you, you know, first of all, he admits now. <laughs> That uh, she's highly overrated. All this carrying on about her screaming and yelling, he goes, uh, he, he says in an interview, a lot of these really good looking women Just are like making there. love to a couch. Mm -hmm. They lie there and don't do anything. And I think what he's saying is that as hot as Angelina Jolie is, and it's as exciting the looks. as her career, if it ain't happening, if she ain't moaning, uh, you feel ugly inside. You People feel always like ask, what kind of technique do you like for oral, for example? And I always say, look, most guys wouldn't even care if the technique was bad as long as she just loves the idea of doing it. Mm. Right. She just loves to have the old schmeckle where the sun don't shine, whatever. You right. just love that. Right. You and like the attitude. A, Tabitha right. Stevens has the right attitude. She's adorable. She's cute. She's spunky. She makes it a fun scene. I also like Christy Canyon, Terry Weigel, Taylor Wayne. I mean, there's a lot of girls that have always <laughs> been a lot of fun. When's know? the last time you did a sex scene in a movie? Uh, two weeks ago. Vicky Vett. It was an internet scene for Video Secrets. Will regular women date you? Or are you considered, you know, too far gone? If you're in the industry, you know, it's kind of like in a, the world that rock stars go through that they won't take you too seriously. They right. might want to maybe just mess around, but to a strong relationship. You know, what girl's going to say, I left my boyfriend for Ron Jeremy? You know, they won't take us seriously, but fun is perfectly fine. But do you well, date? I was going to ask what that has done to his social life. I mean, his social life is great. I mean, uh, you know, Gary's seen, you know, he's seen with pretty women. We've got the bunny ranch girls here, by the way. Right. So, I mean, the, the social life is terrific, but. The relationships are difficult. Romance right. is tough. There's no romance. You know, a few years here, a few years there, it's tough. But right now, no. I'm, I'm single. You are? Have you ever been married? No. I've had, so I had girlfriends four years, four years, and things like that. But you it have? Was always, it was always non-monogamous. It was never really... Right. I always allowed freedom for both me and the girl. It sounds corny, and, and me and Gene Simmons both preached this. We were on The View, the Barbara Walters show, that you could be... Emotionally monogamous, not necessarily physically monogamous. Mm. I know it's. Not I'm, a I'm in full agreement with that. It's not a concept that a lot of people want to abide by, but it seems to work for me and people in our lifestyle. You know, you're in full agreement, but you've never practiced. I'm, I'm having a hard time practicing it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody try wants. To, nobody wants to go along with what I've been full agreement with. I'll try explaining that to a non-porno broad. The emotional. Well, there are swingers out there. You know, a lot of people who are not in porn who have more of an open attitude. You know, or you see a lot, like a lot of rock and roll stars. Like you know, Sam Kennison used to say that Malika would bring a girl home. Right. A lot of, a lot of couples who are the young and into the more the out, the lifestyle. Then maybe they'll once in a while they'll try another couple or bring a girl over or something, and it's kind of the same thing. And and you always hang around with big stars. You were friends with Sam Kinison, all these guys. They oh, worship you, love right? Him, yeah. Well, I've had great rela I've had good relationships with a lot of known, known people. Yeah. Ever catch anything? I, I I read that you never caught an STD nope. doing porn. Nope. 
Only in your real life. When I was a school teacher, I caught one little thing once. Well, right. the students uh, are supposed to be off left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a wise guy. wasn't a student. Do you think, we're, all, we're all tested for everything every month. You know? Do you think you could beat Richard Christie in Stump the Perv? I think so. You do? Yeah. You're not only a man who is in porno, but you also are aware of the titles and the people in the industry. I know the facts pretty well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, can I ask a couple questions from uh, right. Right before we get started? Sure. Was he in a movie called Fatliners? Yes, and the tagline was, it's about life after death after lunch. Can Have you ever done a movie where you couldn't get aroused? There have been some that were tough. Like I did one out in uh, Mallorca, Spain with Rocco and uh, Chuchelina. We were out on a boat. Everyone was, was throwing up because of the sea. Everyone got seasick. <laughs> right. That was murder. But right, but it wasn't because it. the woman was ugly or no. you just were turned off. People were all getting sick. That was a, that What was an a imagination. One. You're like J.K. Rowling. Really? Over there. <laughs> have you been on set where a woman smells in incredibly bad and you have to say, oh, listen, someone's got Sometimes, gotta... here's what you do. You know, okay. We have techniques for that. You give a wink to the makeup artist and she'll say, hey, before we start the scene, we're all going to do a little douche. Let's go to the bathroom. Right. And then the girl takes so that we don't have to embarrass anybody. Have you been the victim you don't of that? Embarrass the girl. That's did a, did, did a, uh, a makeup artist ever come over to you and say, "Hey, Ron, maybe you need to do take a sits bath"? <laughs> I jump in the shower before every scene. Right you before do. Scene. Right, right before every scene. Here's the idea: before the scene, to. we're going to boil you. <laughs> <laughs> They've done that. You know? Are you guys ready to play now, Richard? Uh, you said one of your heroes is Ron Jeremy. Mm -hmm. After all, he's done it all in porno. Uh, this would be the ultimate test if yeah. you could beat Ron. We're playing today for five thousand dollars. Ron could win five thousand dollars for Stump the Perk. It is provided by BOSPoker.net. There are many online poker rooms, but only one boss, BossPoker.net. And uh, the question is, can you beat this man? I hope so. I've been studying, so... All right, let's How see what happens. How do you study? Happens. Well, what books do you look at? Well, like I watch a lot of movies, and I go through a lot of, like, uh, there's some websites with facts on there and stuff oh, like boy. that. And so. then he develops the question, so... <laughs> it's kind oh, of yeah, we had him write the question? No. <laughs> it's tougher than I thought. No. <laughs> What we're going to do is, uh, you haven't seen the questions, obviously. Ron hasn't seen the questions. These are just general knowledge, porn questions. May the best man win. Today, because the questions are rather long, I've extended the time to 90 seconds. Okay, so, yeah. I was going to say, last time you did have trouble getting through the questions. I did, so I, I extended the time to 90 seconds. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to pass on a question, you can. Richard, go in the isolation booth right now. You'll go after Ron. Robin's going to come out. This now, is exciting. Now that he's gone, can we talk about him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's he really like? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you ready to play or not? Yeah. All right, here we go. This is the big one. $5,000. Take it seriously. I hope you take it seriously. Right. Yes, I'm glad you said that. I mean, you make 500000 a year, but you can always use an extra 5000 right? Okay, here we go. Ron Jeremy, I'm going to ask you seven questions. Answer them to the best of your ability. You have 90 seconds to answer. You can stop the clock whenever you want. Here we go. What happens if you stop the clock, just so I know? Well, it, it, you're that's based your on... That's your time. That's your time. In other words, let's say you go through all seven questions. Right. And uh, two of them you pass on. I might say to you at the end, do you want to go back? Now, if you go back, you eat up more time. So if you and Richard tied, but he answered uh, in a short amount of time, so you've got to weigh that all out. So if I think I, think I don't know, I'll just say stop, uh, go on to the next question. Next question, right. that's right. You just say pass. Gotcha. Okay, go back here later. we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. This vivid girl has also performed under the names Sadie Jordan and Brooke Thomas. Wow, don't know that one. Okay. Despite making over 400 adult movies, including Midnight Librarians and Spring Break Sex Kittens, this star has never had an on-screen triple X scene with a male co-star. Good Lord, I don't know that either. Oh All my right. goodness, Ron. My what recent AVN newcomer of the year and Squirt Woman takes her porn name from the Greek goddess of love, beauty, and music? Cytheria. Okay. What I porn legend wonderful. of such classics as Wanda Whips Wall Street and Backdoor Bonanza 3 appeared in the mainstream movie Boogie Nights as a judge? Uh, Veronica Hart. I got Jane Hamilton's other name. I got it the job, by the way. What star of such films as Rich Wives Clubs and Mind Games was indicted in 2000 for insider trading? Oh, that was um, uh, 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 oh, that was um, uh, Marilyn Star. Which star of Four Finger Club Nine and Top Notch Bitches also appeared in an Eminem video and The Sopranos? Gina Lynn. This late bloomer didn't get her start in porn until 2003 at the age of 37 and has already made over 75 films including Sodomy Sandwiches and Give Me Gape. 
Oh boy, pass. I'll go back to that one. All right, do you want to go back at all? Or Just that class? last one. Go back to that last one. This late bloomer didn't get her start in porn until 2003 at the age of 37 and has already made over 75 films, including sodomy Bottom sandwiches. Time. time. Hmm. Okay. I guess, should I throw a guess out on that one? No, you can't win. You, you can't, can't okay. get another. Uh, gotcha. You got four right. You didn't do bad. Yeah, That's pretty I was good. surprised. Um, the, the, the first question about the vivid girl who has performed under the name Sadie Jordan Brooke Thomas, Tara Patrick. Ah, oh, she's a good friend of mine. I didn't okay. know the name. That's the, that's the true story there. Uh, the second one you didn't get. Despite making over 400 adult movies, including Midnight Librarian, Spring Break, Sex Kittens, this star has never had an on-screen triple X scene with a male co-star. That's Felicia. Oh, I should have gotten that one. See? Uh. You got all the other ones right, except for the last one. Which was? Vicky Vett. I was going to say Vicky Vett. See? Ah. You, you, you wouldn't have been penalized. You should have just blurted I, it out. I just worked with her two weeks ago. There oh, you go. man. All right, what, well, you, you got, got four. four right. That's pretty good. These uh, were tough questions. I mean, I don't know whether they're tough or not. I don't know anything about they're porn. They're a little bit difficult. Ron, yeah. I am going to advise you now not to let on as to how many you got right or wrong. Of course. That's a psychological advantage you have is going first. Right. All right. Know that you got four. Mm -hmm. Took you the full 90 seconds. Sit down on the couch and put on your best poker face. <laughs> gotcha. You are his idol. Maybe you could unnerve him. <laughs> I know he's nervous. <laughs> All right. That's a cute picture. <laughs> That's my farm. Cute All right, Ron, land. here comes your challenger, Richard Christie. He has uh, one of the largest porn collections in the country. He yeah. works for us he, every Friday night rather than go out with real people. He likes to sit home with his computer and... Offer his computer a glass of wine. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and and uh, he is very into porn. That's how he studies that. Could he have way too much time on his hands, perhaps? He is undefeated in this contest so far, and maybe you're the man to unseat him. Uh -oh. I'm not going to tell you how Ron Jeremy did. Can I tell Ron real quick, too, uh, that one of the first porn movies I ever saw was Stiff Competition. Great film. Like in 86, I think I saw That was the last big-budget film. That film cost a quarter million dollars. It is amazing. They rented out a whole stadium to shoot that film. That was back in the old days, uh, and they spent a lot more money. It is amazing to me that you, anyone even retains any information about these I films. want to thank you for that T-shirt. When he bought that, I got made 80 cents. Thank you. <laughs> right. Stiff welcome. Competition. Stiff Competition. Here we go. I'm going to give you the seven questions. You know how it goes. Everyone must be quiet. This vivid girl has also performed under the names Sadie Jordan and Brooke Thomas. Uh, pass. Despite making over 400 adult movies, including Midnight Librarians and Spring Break Sex Kittens, this star has never had an on-screen triple X scene with a male co-star. Um, let's see, is that Janine Lindemulder? What recent AVN newcomer of the year and squirt woman takes her porn Scythe area? What porn legend of such classics as Wanda Whips Wall Street and Backdoor Bonanza 3 appeared in the mainstream movie Boogie Nights as a judge? Um, Veronica Hart. <laughs> what star of such films as Rich Wives Clubs and Mind Games was indicted in 2000 for insider trading? Um, uh, I know that one. Pass. Which star of Four Finger Club Nine and Top Notch Bitches also appeared in an Eminem video in The Sopranos? Um, let's see, was that Raylene? This late bloomer didn't get her start in porn until 2003 at the age of 37 and has already made over 75 films including Sodomy Sandwiches and Give Me Gape. Uh, pass. Let me go back to the Brooke Thomas, uh, Vivid Girl. Okay, this Vivid Girl has also performed under the names Sadie Jordan and Brooke Thomas. Oh, I know I saw that one last night when I was studying, too. Time. 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 Uh-oh, you've been defeated. Wow. Ron Jeremy, you, know, you are the winner. I know why he said Raylene. Raylene was in a video with the band um, Everclear. She, yeah, she did the video for the music because okay. that was from Detroit Rock City, which I was in, and it was uh, Boys Are Back in Town. You are not the top pervert. Uh, this is the top pervert. Oh, right. right. That's yeah. a nice Jeremy title. is the top pervert. <laughs> the he wins. I like the Rock money, not the title. <laughs> he wins $5,000. Yeah. You really screwed up big time. He'd probably yeah. get this one. I could help him with one question because I knew I should have gotten it. It bothered me a lot. The one about the girl who never did an on sex scene with a guy. And you said Janine. Who'd be the next girl you'd mention? Um, I'm sure you'll probably the Jim Holiday films all the time. The ones he mentioned were films with Jim Holiday, VCA. Mm. Her name is Felicia. Felicia. Yeah, she's I'm the only other girl. Familiar familiar with with she's the only other star besides Janine who never did guys. Wow. The first answer was Tara Patrick, Sadie Jordan, and Brooke Thomas. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know that either. 
<laughs> you got Cytheria. Both of you guys got that. And then there was uh, Veronica Hart. You got that one. Yeah. I don't think Richard did. Yeah, I got you that You got one. that. That was the yeah, only Nina one. Nina Hartley was also in the Boogie Nights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Rich Wives Club, Mind Games, Marilyn Starr. Hmm. Um, she had that insider. That? Yeah, Ryan she had an insider. That. It was a big scandal. She had a big insider trading thing. I she know. I heard about that, but yeah, I couldn't remember. I n- I never heard that name. Four Finger Club Nine, Top Notch Bitches, uh, Eminem video, and The Sopranos was Gina Lynn. Ron got that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the late bloomer uh, who didn't get her start in porn until the age of thirty-seven was Vicky Vet. And wow. I just worked with her two weeks ago. I feel like the biggest oh, yeah. idiot. Yeah, Man, yeah. those are some tough ones. Well, Ron got four. You only got two. But both of you used all of the time you had. So mm-hmm. yeah. well, that's how it went today. Well, I'll wow. buy a drink with my $5,000. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. we'll go you, you go to the, Dennis, let's go to the bunny ranch. You know, <laughs> you know why I believe you lost? Why? Because you've been with real women lately. <laughs> Screwing not you up. Not studying so. as much. He's not studying. He's really <laughs> messing but, uh, up. No intercourse. Just uh, <laughs> having coffee in Danish. Hook right. Nose Mike, you're on the air. Hook Nose Jew Bastard. Listen, Ron, I wanted to ask you. How does I'm a, a guy nose, like you, I'm you a know, Nose Jew Bastard, too, by the way. Yes. <laughs> how does a guy like you get into porn? You know, you're, you're sad. You're, you know, you're ugly. That's you're nice. you're out of shape. Thank you very much. Do you know somebody to <laughs> get into something or what? Did you see me in 1978 when I was a playgirl? Yeah, he wasn't fat. I was I go four times. I was actually very young and thin and kind of spiffy looking, you know. You so go. I didn't start out being fat. You know? How I did g- you keep this going, though? I mean, I went from the, the gym to the buffet. No, right. but but oh. your career has has outlasted. Because I mean, it it's, 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 it's like cult, people like talk about you and they put you in rock songs. Uh-huh. You, I did 18 videos for MTV. That kind of helped wow. also. You know? I think now at this point, if you put Ron in, he's a promotable name. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, you wonder how he got to the point where people oh, knew his name. Hard. Well, because I thought I tried to create character. In the porn yeah. films, even try to have sex in character. A lot of guys weren't doing all that. the stuff that Howard said he hates about you. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, don't know. Like I know a lot of guys said they don't want to see personality in the guys. I don't be faceless, nameless, just show us your schmeckle and say goodbye. Did you, ever, did you ever do escorting? Has a woman ever, like, because of your large size, has a woman ever paid you money to have sex with her? In my dreams, right? That doesn't happen. Yeah, I, don't I mean, no. I've had an offer a couple times with husbands, wanted me to mess around with their wives for money. I always felt funny because I always worry about the law. Uh huh. You know, mm-hmm. so when you know. got into porn, though, what was your pay scale? I mean, like, when you first started. Guys make a couple it. hundred bucks. Even today, an average guy in the beginning makes a couple hundred bucks a scene. The girl's making at least a grand. Right. And if she has a contract, five to ten thousand for the movie. Well, what do you get guys now? Make, I mean, I'll, I have a contract with Metro Interactive, so they'll simply pay me a monthly fee. I see. So I get paid by the month. I don't get paid by the scene anymore. You What's get paid to have sex with women on film. That's pretty wild. Uh, hey, how hey, Ron, ever, ever been offered to do gay porn? No, I wouldn't be able to. I see some hairy behind. As Sam Kennison used to say, I want to shave it. I don't uh, want to do anything. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to. What about when you're in, are you in scenes with other guys though? Those like are funny. We're, we're like you're. Well, you're doing what they call like you know orgasm. Group. What they call it a DP. You could say that. Yeah. You know, sometimes your your scrotum. You know, will be like. Oh, no. That's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. But you don't yeah. think oh, about it. Being oh, in a room with another guy is Yeah, tough. but you don't think about it. You're with a girl. You're with a beautiful girl, you know. Okay. Hey, Howard, Ron has an amazing talent that involves his mouth and another part of his body. You think, and I, and I, I was wondering if he would be able to uh, show it to, uh, to what Howard. What he's saying is when I yeah. kiss myself with the sun don't shine. Yeah. Eddie Murphy did a routine about that on HBO. How do you do that? Well, you can first, I make sure to wear a condom. I don't know where he's been. You can, you can kiss your own buttocks? No. no, no, the other part. Yeah, he the can, front. Yeah, the front. Can, the front. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah, give yeah. myself the wrong phone number, so I'm not going to call me anymore. I always yeah. thought that that was a prosthetic on, in that. No, film. it was me. Is that it, really was true. I kissed. The joke was, and this is actually a true story. It mentions in my documentary. I was I was in Boy Scout camp. When, you t- when I was 15 years old, you tie up those high boots. I was also in Camp Well Met. So are you, by the way? Oh yeah. I can reach down. I noticed I can actually kiss it. So I call my dad on the phone. This is a true story. I said, Pop, is it normal for a guy to be able to kiss himself over there? He goes, is anybody in the room with you? <laughs> uh, no. Well, I suggest don't tell too many people. You could do that. When you get to the 18, <laughs> the girls will kiss it for you. Hey, is that gay, discussed. though, to kiss yourself? You know, as Eddie Murphy said, and this is a direct quote from Eddie Murphy, it's not, but if you let go on your own face, that's gay. All Did right. Did you do yeah. that? No. No, no. I just Man, it was a joke. I would. Can you still do it? Or is it a. Yes. Well, you can I, still do I gained weight, I could just kiss the tip. Well, you go down in flames, my friend. I guess so. Yeah, man. beaten he by was, the master. Yeah, Five yeah, thousand dollars. An honor, though. And you thank d- you. You did good. Thank you. Did, you. <laughs> they did horribly. How do you feel, Richard? You don't know who Felicia. I'm you know defeated. Felicia was? You know Felicia? No, no. I thought you would know that because that's a pretty known fact. That you should know because yeah. the two biggest names in porn, they were the guys, with Janine Lindemaller, who's number one, and yeah. Felicia. Never done, never done, guys. And uh, the other one I should have gotten was Vicky Vick. I just worked with her. I knew. See, I should have got the Tara Patrick one. That no, that I never would have gotten. I never know those names. See, that one I knew. Never known. Just was because before Vivid, she worked for um, she worked for uh, uh, Digital Playground. 
Now and she was freelance, and I never knew those names. Here's a question for you. Do you know what famous model, what her, that her real name is Tara Patrick? I heard about this, but not uh, Carmen Electra, that's her real name. That is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So, it. Richard, how does it feel that you were beaten by your idol? Uh, it's, uh, if I'm going to be beaten by anybody, it's, it's definitely awesome that it's Ron. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bummed, but I, I'm not, you know, I'm all right. But how does it feel knowing that you're not the biggest pervert now? Um, and so I, lo I love this. Look, the money feels great. The title you can give to him. You know, I like, no, he can have I, I, the title. I like, I like the money. He can have the title. <laughs> So, Richard, are you still going to try to play other people or no? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still, like, um, I'm still going to study and, and still keep up with my porn knowledge. So. We're, we're going to make a gay film, Romeo and Julio, or Adam and Steve. Is yeah, that yeah. Now, Ron, do you think there's something wrong with a guy who has so much knowledge about the porn industry that, but he has been... There's too much, I, think a guy, I think he has too much time on his hands, perhaps. If a guy knows too much about porn, it's like, why? He's supposed to watch <laughs> porn with one hand, you know, diddle. Have a nice time, make this noise, uh, and then go on to something else. You're not supposed to why read. Wanna, why do you want to study facts? Yeah, you're not supposed on. to read bios. That strikes me as. You know, that strikes me as. <laughs> that strikes me as people who actually get Star Trek and they try, they memorize Klingonese. I know kids in college who are actually trying to learn Klingon. I want to bitch slap these idiots. You know, once you learn Spanish, French, German, they're learning Klingonese. So certain yeah. things, I just think it's just a big waste of time. It's like, there are so many facts you might want to learn about. Politics, political science, history. Why do I learn facts about yeah. porn? I know them because I just lived it for so many, 26 years, you know. So I would advise, but my, I get to I'd use advise, my, little, I'd advise my little protege. Try to put something else. Go out and get laid. Just use porn, <laughs> yes. Use it for this noise. Do this. Uh, uh, that's, uh, all, that's all you need porn for. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Don't worry about the facts.